Hi everybody. I've just finished cleaning, moving, revamping, adding a few things to Cupcake's kitten room. And they've all got zoomies. It's quite funny actually. Can't even keep up with what's going on. Cupcake's got a spring behind me. Yeah, lots of kitten fun. So Cupcakes litter, these guys are, oh, I think about 10 weeks old now. I'm gonna have to check that, but yep. Whoops. <laughs> yep, 10 weeks old. Yeah, because they'll be 11 weeks old next week because they're going in for their last vet visit. I'm not gonna put music in the background because it's the crashing and bashing going on. It's quite funny. And it's part of my daily life, so. <laughs> Can you hear the sounds? So you'll have seen on the cover that we have added a cat coffee cup to the room, which I look, I didn't actually expect it to be quite this cool. So I think it's a wee bit under a meter high and it has two little caves oh, for them to get in. And Dolly's demonstrating a cute little area on top that they can sit in. Yeah, this, they're all a bit crazy. Even cupcakes are feeling it a bit. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased with this. I will, um, I'll put the link where I got it. And there is a discount code as well, but I think it was about 140 something Australian. For my international people watching, I'm not sure where you'd get this. Um, I'm assuming they do make it in China. But yeah, for those watching who are in Australia, you can buy this. And it's just the perfect size for cats, kittens. And I'll just do a bit of a swivel around. It's got this bit here they can scratch on. Who have we got in here? <laughs> Mr. Fluffy Boy. Oh, someone's someone's in the tray behind me. But I like that they can swan dive from the top of this and it's not high enough to hurt them. So hopefully I'll get some cute video of them using it later. Right now they're just a bit, I think almost overwhelmed with all the new things to do. It's funny because there's not really a whole lot of new things in here. It's just that I've moved everything. So I'll see if I can find each kitten for everybody. Oh, there we go, swan dive. Let's see. So, we have Dolly up here. Hello. Dolly. I've got Phoenix up here. Put in the better light. Did you get that mouse, Phoenix? Let's go over here, see who have we got over here. Don't think this boy's got a name yet. 
but we sort of just call him the super fluffy one. If, if his owners have chosen a name, I'll put it on the screen. You need to run away from me. We're all a bit excited. We have a little pancake down here. Pancake and cupcake. And our other boy. Jasper in there. Again, they're all a little bit overexcited. Come here, buddy. So one of the main questions I was asked in the comments on the last video was how involved are the mum cats at this age? Do they miss them when the kittens leave? How old are the kittens when they leave? And do the mother cats integrate back into adult cat society easily? Oh, I've used a bit of cleaning product in here. That's why there's a few sneezes going on. So I found that most often they don't look for the kittens. I let them... I, the kittens leave here at 13 to 14 weeks of age, and that usually works out because they're desexed at 11 weeks, depending on the weight. Males usually 12 to 13 weeks, and females need a need two weeks, depending on the size of the surgery site. So they're usually 13 to 14 weeks. So by that age, the kittens are really quite big, quite full on. I mean, these guys are 10 weeks, and they're quite full on. So by that age, the mother cats are absolutely ready for them to go. Most of them don't look for the kittens when they go. What's wrong, Cupcake? And I have some mums that integrate straight back in with the other adults and some that just prefer their own space. Some of them here don't like being around other cats and usually that's just an entire cat thing, like a breeding cat thing. They're just a wee bit hormonal, whereas desex pets usually get along much easier. So once these guys go, Cupcake will go back into our big first floor cat room with some friends down there. Well, that's the plan. Gosh, sorry, they're absolutely crazy. They're all gonna crash soon. They're all gonna be exhausted. Oh, another thing I'll add is that it, it does take a lot out of a mother cat to raise a litter of kittens. So by the time the kittens go, they really need a bit of TLC, a bit of space, a bit of time to groom themselves. You know, it can take a few weeks, some cats, you know, a couple of months for them to put back the condition on. Um, Cupcake, Cupcake hasn't had any issues at all. She's a fantastic weight in fantastic condition. But some mums tend to give more to the kittens than others. So Tiny needed some, they needed a few weeks afterwards. And it was actually amazing the difference. Like two, three weeks after Tiny's kittens left, she just looked like a different cat. And when I mean that, I mean they, they put more effort into their own grooming. And they'll eat more and they're obviously not feeding kittens. And we do try to choose or to keep certain bloodlines that do better as mothers. So Cupcake's line, and Cupcake is from Amane and Usher. Amane's line have been really, really good mothers. They keep the weight on, they're, they have easy births, they're quite big cats. So we do try and pick, yeah, pick mothers that handle it better.
But yeah, to answer the question, um, quite easily. I think that has a lot to do with the fact that we do let kittens go a little bit older. I know perhaps some breeders, certainly ones that maybe aren't registered, that let kittens go much younger. And I know the mothers struggle with that a lot more. So our belief here is that kittens really should be desexed and have two vaccinations and that happens when they're at least 10, 11 weeks old. We don't agree with kittens going at seven or eight weeks at all. Better for the kittens to be a bit older and better for the mamas as well. Hey Cupcake, are you going to say hello? Oh. Oh, we had two in it. Are you enjoying that, Jasper? We brought some toys up to play with on top of the coffee cup. Oh, I should say we are fully litter trained. They are just fantastic. No accidents for a very, very long time. Only thing is they do kick litter everywhere. So we might leave it there. Again, if you've got any questions at all, drop a comment. And if you've made it this far, listening to me waffle on, um, yeah, subscribing and giving the video a like does help us a lot. And we'll have another video out soon, probably on alphabet litter and we are a bit overdue for a, a cat chat coffee, which we'll do very soon but yeah until then happy halloween i'm not sure when this will be out probably the 30th or the 31st so to all the american watchers happy halloween i'll catch you next time mm -hmm.